Okay, before I go into the next uh, example, I want to look at the last example from the last video, and I said, what is the tangent of the inverse sine of the square root of 3 over 2? Well, we did that by putting in the square root of 3 over 2 here and taking the inverse sine of it, and uh, we get 60 degrees. Well, that means that the sine of 60 degrees, I could check this out, and I get this value right here. So the sine of 60 degrees is equal to this value right here, which is the square root of 3 over 2. But besides 60 degrees, the sine is positive in the first and second quadrant, anywhere above the x-axis, and that would be at 60 degrees, and also 60 degrees taken away from 180 degrees, which is 120 degrees. And so in other words, the sine of 120 degrees will also give me the same value. Now, some people feel you only should uh, list one, but uh, really there are, are infinite amount of answers to it, and there's two within the uh, unit circle, one at 60 degrees and the other at 120 degrees. So when it says then find the tangent of that, well, the tangent of 60 degrees is 1.73 because, see, the problem said not just what is the inverse sign of it, but now take the tangent of it. So the tangent of 60 degrees is 1.73, which is actually the square root of 3, but also we need to take the tangent of 120 degrees, and the tangent of 120 degrees is a negative 1.73, and that was a negative square root of 3. So the answer is plus or minus 1.73 approximately, or plus or minus the square root of 3. Some people might say just, just list your positive values, and that's fine because it's it's an idea of what's a, what's a function, and it, they don't repeat the answers, so they only list one answer, 60 degrees. Other people say 60 and 120, and therefore you'd have to take the tangent of both of those and get two answers. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go on to example 8, and example 8 deals with bearing. And a compass bearing is always given in three parts. For example, north, 30, east means, uh, for this example, it means that we start from the north and we turn an angle of 30 degrees towards the east. Uh, S, south, 62, west means that we start at the south and we go turn an angle of 62 degrees to the west. Now, the only thing how that affects us is this. This is uh, north 60 east. That means you start off north, then you do an angle measurement of 60 degrees to the east. Well, that means for us that we have to use an angle, a, an angle measurement of 30 when we're doing trig functions of 30 degrees. So if we do a problem that uh, uh, does this, um, for example, here's the problem at the top that says, let's get to it. It says, uh, let's get a picture of what's going on. Let's get up here a little bit higher. If a plane takes off at north 60 east and travels 500 miles on that bearing until it lands, how far north and how far east did it land? Well, for us, that's a 30 degree measurement and it's going 500 miles. And now we can get its north, northern uh, amount of distance that it covered by taking the sine of 30 degrees equals y over 500. So, uh, or pi over 6 if you like radians. So if the sine of pi over 6 or 30 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse y over 500, then y equals 500 times the sine of 30 degrees. And sine of 30 degrees is 0.5, and 0.5 times 500 is 250 miles north. Then the cosine is the adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of 30 degrees or pi over 6 is equal to x over 500. So 500 times the cosine of pi over 6 will give you the x distance. And what I would do there is if you want to go with just 30 degrees, dealing with it with degrees, uh, we could put the 30 in here and then just use this calculations, take uh, 500 times the 0.5 to get your uh, 250. And right here, the cosine of 30 degrees is this value right here. And just for calculations, I could do equals 500 times uh, this value right here. And that would give me the amount of miles that it flew to the east. Now, in this problem, it's a continuation of uh, 8A. And it says, uh, in example 8A, the, the plane lands at 250 miles north, 433.01 miles east of where it started. If it then heads on a bearing of south 75 west for a distance of 600 miles, what will be its new distance from its original location? Well, a bearing of south 75 west means that the plane is traveling 75 degrees west or left of the south, in other words, the negative part of the y-axis. So here is what south 75 west means. You, you're facing south, and then you turn to the west 75 degrees. 
but our angle measurements are always from the x-axis, so that would be a measurement of 15 degrees. So what we have going on here is an angle measurement of 15 degrees here that we need to deal with cosines or sines. This is 600 miles, and if we want to know how far east and how far south we went, we could use the sine and cosine. So uh, now, for us, this 15 degrees is actually 15 degrees back to the x-axis here. So it's 15 degrees plus another 180 to get you back to where you started. So in trig, remember, we always measure going counterclockwise from the x-axis. So this is 180 plus another 15, which makes 195 degrees is the uh, angle measurement we're going to have to deal with, or the same as 13 pi over 12. So the sine of this is equal to the uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be y over 600 and multiply by the 600 and you'll get your y value. Now that's negative 155.29. In other words, the negative tells me that I have went south. So 155.29 miles south. And then to get the east, that would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's cosine of that angle measurement or radiance. That's 195 degrees there is equal to x over 600. Cross multiply, 600 times the cosine of 13 pi over 12 or 195 degrees is going to give you negative 579.55 miles, or in other words, 579.55 miles west. Now, if you add the, the east and south and west to the uh, north and uh, west that it went before, see, 205, 250 miles north, 433 miles east, um, to the answer we already just got right here, then you get that the uh, it's this many miles north and this many miles west of where it took off from. To get its distance, use the Pythagorean theorem, and you get that it's 174.48 miles uh, from its original location. And to get its bearing it would need to take to get back to its uh, original airport that it took off from, you would take the inverse tangent of the uh, these values that it has left to go, the east and the west, or the north and the west. Now we'll do it.